everybody in today's video just gonna give you a little bit of information about the resort Memories Paraiso which is located in Cayo Santa Maria I just gonna tell you a few of the good and bad things that we experienced when we were visiting this place so the first thing that you need to know is that the resort is located two hours away from the airport so the trip is quite far but other than that was quite nice the first bad impression that we end up having was at the reception because we arrived there at 11 p.m. They were very rude and they didn't even give us information of where our room was located. So trying to find something at night there is quite difficult because the lighting is bad and you cannot see the signs clearly. When we enter a room right away we found two cockroaches. Other than that, the room was clean so we didn't want to complain much because we were tired and very hungry for that reason we decided to go and find food and they told us that you have two options one place they give you hamburgers and hot dogs another place they give you pizza they are located far away from each other so the next morning we decided to explore a little bit more the resort and it was beautiful. The, the way that they keep all the plants and the garden in general is beautiful. One of the first things that we decided to look for was the beach and as soon as we get there we find out that they placed a red flag and basically that means that they don't allow you to swim on the ocean because it's very windy and the waves are quite strong so yeah like you're allowed to stay there as long as you want but you cannot swim at all because we were there in february the weather wasn't that great from the seven days that we stayed there, four of them, they didn't allow us to go inside of the ocean. So that was quite annoying, but I love it because they truly care about your safety. So after that, we decided to explore more of the resort and we find out that the resort has connections with other two resorts. For that reason, you can take this little car that will take you around the three resorts. And they were explaining that you cannot use the facilities that means the swimming pools restaurants and bars from the other two resorts but you are allowed to walk around this place because outside of these three resorts you don't have anything else to see which is very shocking at the end of our resort you will find the villa which basically is a fake villa and was created just for tourists here obviously you can buy souvenirs and there are a couple of restaurants that you can visit as well if you want there is not much to see in the villa obviously if you like to shop you will spend maybe an hour or two exaggerating this villa was created because there is nothing outside of the resort the closest town is located an hour away and yeah, basically this is the reason why they just make this fake villa. Something interesting is that they have the gym that all the hotels can use. And as well they have the nightclub that all the other resorts can use it as well. If you decide to go out of the resort, um, you can rent a car for $90 per day, but you have to rent it for three days and you can rent the scooters which are $30 and you have to bring the scooters with a tank full of gas now let's talk about food a lot of people complain that food from Cuba is bad but in reality for me I can tell you that it was delicious they have a lot of different type of food which was repetitive the majority of days but it was very tasty the fruit wasn't as great as it should, but in general, it was very nice. And for example, when you are eating meat, you can ask and season the meat the way that you want. So it's very, very delicious. No complaints about the food. 
as a little tip if you like really spicy food bring your own hot salsa because seriously they don't have any from the seven days i was able to find one day uh, something like spicy there but that's it so bring your own the nice thing is that at lunch time um, there is two places that you can eat one is the main buffet area and then you have a more open space uh, near the beach and uh, near the swimming pool they will serve the same food but at least it's an open space and like more fresh and i don't know it, it was very nice the resort will give you access to three different restaurants in our case we ended up choosing a cuban mediterranean and italian food and here it's my complaint the food was exactly the same that the buffet nothing special nothing different the only thing that they will do different is the way that they place the food obviously it's like really nice but do not expect more if you want to have a nice drink go to the main lobby they will make amazing coffees cappuccinos and anything that you want to drink so go there because it's very good so now let's talk about what else can you do in the resort for entertainment. Obviously you can go to the swimming pools or go to the ocean and they have like tennis, football and basketball spaces to play. The only bad thing is that the equipment, they don't have enough or simply they don't have it. If the weather is good, obviously you can rent water sports like um, kayaks or paddles or these little boats that I don't know the name. Usually in other resorts, they will have a lot of entertainment and people will make you participate in different contests. But here it wasn't that great. at night the show for kids were horrible and they repeat the same songs the same things every single day now entertainment for adults like the dancing and the show that they do it was very nice but um everything closes at 11 and basically if you wanna keep dancing you need to go to the nightclub at night and pay extra money um, so the nightclub is located in the villa. Obviously all the bars are still open pretty much the entire night uh, But it's not the same like you cannot dance there if you want as much. I don't know. So that was very annoying uh, Another thing that you need to know is that they have very fast internet So we pay one dollar for one hour and it was pretty good. As I mentioned before, there is nothing outside of the resort other than the hospital, which is located four kilometers away. We decided to explore this hospital and we noticed that it was very, very small. The visit to the doctor will cost you around $40, which is quite expensive. So just in case, make sure that you have insurance if you get sick, uh, because sounds like they will charge you a lot of money if you have like very bad complications or something like a little bit stronger than maybe food poisoning. There are three things that I truly, truly hate about this place. And the first one is that they do not control people who smoke. Basically, they can smoke everywhere, the swimming pool, beach, beside the restaurants, uh, the area where you can have a cup of tea or coffee or like kind of the bar. People smoke like all the time, everywhere. They didn't care if there were kids beside. It was very, very disgusting. And I understand if you are a smoker that you need to smoke, but please just bring, even for vacation, just have the consideration for people who don't smoke. Bring a vape, at least that is not smelly, but I don't know. I'm so annoyed even until now that people is just allowed to smoke as much as they want and um, there was a point that even when you walk uh, on the beach you will find the end of the, the, the cigarettes just on the beach all over the place and even just that if you are watching this video and you smoke just have the consideration just even have the, the ability to put that thing on the garbage so yeah, that was annoying. The other thing is that the bathrooms beside the uh, buffet area were extremely dirty. So from the seven days that I was there, three days, they were decent. 
but the majority of time they were very very dirty uh, even the toilet paper um, they didn't have enough so you have to be just like looking from the six bathrooms that they were together maybe one of them will have like a roll of toilet paper so as a recommendation just bring a little bit of the toilet paper that they give you in your own bathroom uh, bring a little bit of it and you will be fine and the other complaint that I have is that they do not use reusable plastic cups for that reason you will see again hundreds of non-reusable plastic uh, cups all over the beach um, so again if you're watching this video the easy way next time just bring your own cup so at least you are not just making the beach dirty and I have a final kind of tip and that will be uh, at the airport um, the food is very expensive not that great so if you are hungry just bring snacks or bring a little bit of food from the hotel uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money um, at the airport and that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching I hope this helped you a little bit and kind of gives you an idea of what to expect when you go there and that's it thank you so much once again for watching don't forget to subscribe rate and like and see you soon bye